All season began, Oregon and Air Force in the Las Vegas Bowl. First play of the game, Ducks at their own 31. Akilah Smith goes to the air because you can't stop the up top. 69-yard pass to Pat Johnson for the touchdown. Oregon up 7-0. Oregon second play from scrimmage. Saladin McCullough up the gut, and it won't stop till he has enough. 76 yards would be sufficient for the score. 13-0 joy in the house. <laughs> Oregon's defense would keep Blaine Morgan grounded, to say the least. Only 59 yards passing for him. Fourth quarter, more Oregon offense. Jason Moss. No Moss! 78-yard bomb to... Remember Pat Johnson? There he is. Touchdown. Moss had three touchdown passes in all. Oregon roll over Air Force. Who's the real Air Force in this one? 317 <laughs> off to Chattanooga for the helmet bang. There's Coach Jim waiting for it. First quarter, Chris Fontenot, wide open touchdown pass from the state is dropped. Tied 3-3 at halftime. Fourth quarter, Penguins down 9-3. Blaine Prejohn picked off by Jeff Backrow. Sets up a big drive for YSU. First play of the drive. David Tidwell against Tim Tyrell for 22 yards. Third and goal from the nine-yard line. Tidwell is sacked by Charles Aroe, but Aroe is called for the face mask. Second chance for the Penguins after a false start penalty. Tidwell hits Renaud Ray for a nine-yard game-winning touchdown. Penguins win their fourth national title of the 90s. Put a four. The Aloha Bowl, first play from scrimmage for Michigan State. Running back Mark Renaud misses the handoff. Ball's recovered by Chris Campbell of the Huskies, and they capitalize in a hurry. Just two plays later, Rashawn Sheehy coming back from an injury, bolts through the hole, and he is gone. 33 yards for the score. He missed three games in November, and the Huskies lost them all. Washington up 7-0. Just three minutes later, Brock Huard, who's had his share of injuries as well, connecting with Fred Coleman on this touchdown blooper. Sophomore Huard, 18 of 30 for 179 yards. 14-0 Washington. They are healthy. The Spartans countering. Todd Schultz rolling right, hitting Gary Scott with a 12-yard touchdown pass. Michigan State closes it to seven points. Jim Lambright's Huskies, though, would take it up a notch in the second quarter. Huard. The left-hander again rolling to his left and looking for Coleman down in the end zone. He would find him open. Touchdown. Washington goes up 21-7. The route was on. Huskies bottling up Cedric Irvin most of the day. Held him to just 59 yards and 15 carries despite this 30-yard dash. State only getting 47 yards on the ground in this game. When the Huskies weren't done scoring, Tony Parrish picks off the deflected pass. He returns it 56 yards for the score. His second pick of the first half. The Huskies led 31-10 at the break. They converted four first-half turnovers into 17 points. Oh. Gray Classic. Gray's first possession. Alabama's Ed Sissom takes the handoff, dives into the end zone for a five-yard touchdown. That's as many yards as he rushed for all season in Tuscaloosa. Gray up seven to nothing. Second quarter. Sissom takes the catch. Oh, the hit by Lance Schulters. Let's take another look. Watch again. This is where Hofstra meets Alabama only in the blue-gray classic. Later, second quarter, Navy's Chris McCoy, usually a quarterback, playing tailback in this one. Bounces off a tackler, races 40 yards down to the gray 19. McCoy, six carries for 75 yards. He was the blue MVP. Blue gets a field goal, trails 9-3. Six seconds left of the first half. James Brown of Texas at Austin finds Michael Ricks of Stephen F. Austin. That's a Texas connection for a touchdown. Six catches for 106 yards for the Gray squad MVP. Gray up 17-3 at the half. More James Brown in the second. Fakes the handoff. It's a wide open Curtis Alexander of Bama who suggested the play. Scampers 46 yards for the touchdown. 31-10 Gray. Alexander one of three. Legion games when he get more in the motor bowl. Ole Miss, very first play of the game. Stuart Patridge hits Grant Hurd in stride to the one after a John Avery touchdown. Ole Miss leads 7-0. Marshall's first play from scrimmage. Chad Pennington connecting with the bomb bomb to yeah. Moss, driver 88, take a break. 40th touchdown pass for Pennington. Marshall led 10-7 after one. Six catches, 173 yards for the man who wore shades to the Heisman Trophy presentation. 17 seconds left in the half. Patrick's can't find an open man. Time will run out. The first half belongs to Marshall. They led 17-7. Fourth quarter, Ole Miss down by three. But again, Patrick's finds Hurd. 29 for 47, 332. Rebels by three. But Doug Chapman comes back. He 
had 19 carries, 152 yards. Marshall back on top by four, 31-27. Boom! <laughs> Rufus French nailed by Larry McLeod, but he hangs on to the ball. Same drive, third and one. Deuce McAllister, eight carries, 71 yards. That would set up AC Ducey over the top for the touchdown. Ole Miss takes a three-point lead, 34-31. Marshall, one more chance. Pennington completing to Moss in field goal range. Will be about a 52-yarder from there. He fumbles forward. Ole Miss gets the ball, and they win. Tommy Tuberville now 10-0 in non-conference games at Ole Miss. The Rebs have game of the Lobos. Kelvin Ethan busted loose for the 15-yard score to put the Wildcats up 7 off a rough day for New Mexico QB Graham Lee, picked off by Chris McAllister. Lee was not done with the mistakes. Kelvin Hunter gets to him, and then Lee, more trouble, caused by Rasheed Johnson, who picks him off. And then late in the fourth quarter, the fourth of four Lee interceptions, and it basically that told the story of this game and New Mexico's problems, because Arizona would win it 20 to 14. You know, Pac-10 Jerseys look too much like Tennessee. Rondell Mealy, and there's nothing wrong with that. Rondell Mealy, that's about the only way to stop him, the official. Then the Golden Domers catch up with him. Kevin Falk left during LSU's second series with a twisted ankle. They did not need him. Rondell Mealy, third string running back. Third quarter, game tied at six. Battles for 13 yards. That set up the play action. Herb Tyler's 12-yard touchdown pass to Booty. That put the Tigers up 13-6. And then it's all Mealy. LSU, 13-9. And Mealy once more. Mealy would score on the next play. He ran for 222 yards, two touchdowns. And LSU wins it by the final of 27-9. Special teams, you can win this game for us. Come up big on special teams. Take the pride in that you've done all your lives. All about special teams. Trailing 17-14 in the third. Colorado State's Darren Hall, who already took a reverse 14 yards. Peace. Takes a punt, 85 yards, a Holiday Bowl record, 21-17 Rams. More special teams on the punt. Ricky Ross, see what, what had happened. Rams QB Moses Marino would later say no respect on their part. During a Rams possession, setting up for a field goal, the holder and backup QB Ryan Esslinger, psych, fake, touchdown. How physical was the game? One player said some pushing and shoving, but no punches. Just a little testosterone running around. Joe Hamilton, textbook draw play. You want to know why he averaged 339 rushing and passing yards combined? Here's why. 30-yard touchdown, 14-7 Yellow Jacks. Second quarter, Hamilton runs the draw again as cool as the other side of the pillow. He passed for 274 yards in this game. Rushed for 82 and said, I thought we could do what we wanted. Third quarter, Amos Zeroway, 19 yards. Zeroway, the nation's third leading rusher, averaged 150 yards per game this year, but for only the fourth time all year, held to under 100. Too much tech in the fourth quarter. Charles Wiley goes around in, five yard touchdown. State first quarter, Purdue down three nothing. Second down from the OSU 16 and Billy Dickin. Rips it to Brian Alford. Good throw in the post. Purdue up 7-3. Led 10-6 at half. OSU cuts it to 16-13. Purdue comes right back in the third. Billy Dickin to Edwin Watson. Swings it out. And he runs all the way to the 16-yard line. 50-yard play. Next play, it's Vinny Sutherland. After they finish celebrating. I say Vinny Sutherland. The fake. The end around. He's got it. And he's going into the end zone. Purdue with a 10-point lead as he gets in. 23-13. And Purdue puts the game away. Dickon once again looking for someone. We celebrate a long time in this. Cranks it out. It's Chris Daniels, and he's going for an Alamo Bowl record 69 yard play into the end zone. Purdue up 30 to 13, and that'll do it. And then they pour clam chowder on Joe Tiller. Purdue a winner 33 to 20. Joe Tiller leads Purdue to a 9 and 3 finish in his first season. The Boilermakers are now 5 and 1. Steve Campbell made a college start at ASU, replacing the injured Ryan Keeley, hurt in the Arizona game, the season regular season finale for them. Matt Sherman sacked there in the first quarter, and just all kinds of Iowa problems. Sherman drops back, trips over his own man. Arizona State with a bit more luck. Kenny Mitchell catches the deflected pass, and he takes it 41 yards before he's tackled. However, that led to a missed ASU field goal. Second quarter, Iowa still struggling. Tavian Banks tries to get something going, but he's tackled by Joe Chesta. 
loss of four. Third and 11 for ASU. Lindsey Jackson gets pushed out of bounds by Ed Gibson. It's ruled pass interference on Iowa. Automatic first down. ASU on the very next play. Campbell finds Jackson. ASU's leading receiver this year. Came into this game with 53 catches. Great move. Seven love Sun Devils. Late in the first half, the Hawkeyes try to get something going. Sherman back to pass. Sherman sacked. Fumbles the football. Sun Devils recover. That leads to a field goal. It was 10 0 Sun Devils at the half. Third quarter, fourth and two. Iowa goes for it. Michael Berger gets the call. He's close to the first down. They measure, and it's that kind of afternoon for the Hawkeyes. Sun Devils ball. Later in the third quarter, fourth and one. Iowa goes for it again. Tavian Banks not handling his business. It's, it's close. They measure again, but not close enough. And Bruce Snyder would end up getting the Gatorade bath because his boys win it 17 to 7. The ASU defense held the nation's number nines. But perfect weather in Tempe where their orange men were residing going against the second best defense in the country. Kansas State also had some offense for the orange though. Michael Bishop to Darnell McDonald. K-State gets the first touchdown of the game up 7 to 3. Then that defense pushed the pressure on Donovan McNabb. After the pass, oh, Jeff Kelly crushes him. 14 to 3 in the second quarter. Bishop still trying to get the better of McNabb. Rolling and then throwing cross field the other way to Justin Swift. Swift! who's not just swift, he's burly, busting through tackles. Wildcats take a 21-3 lead. Late comeback in the halftime is 21-15. Syracuse closing in. But in the fourth quarter, Bishop continues his one-man show. Again, he's looking for McDonald. Makes the catch. The flag was on the D. Stiff arm, and then he's going to tightrope it to the end zone. 77-yard score. Longest in Fiesta Bowl history. And... Paul Pasqualoni could puke. His team loses for the first time in his tenure in a bowl game. Kansas State rolls it 14-7 and defense going here. Billy West, my bad, fumbles it. Perry Phoenix got it. He's through the crowd and he's still going 15 yards and down in. Southern Miss up 21-7. More D. Pete Gonzalez throwing, throwing to Adias Thomas. Wrong guy, wrong team. Touchdown, 26-yard return, 35-7. 3-D, Gonzalez, duck, pick, Terrence Parrish. And he's going even farther, 63 yards, broke alertly, one driving. Southern Miss, in a big way, winning the Liberty Bowl. Three touchdowns by the defense and three touchdown passes.